Let's get into it. My first guest tonight is, of course, a writer, director, and Academy Award-nominated actor. Now he can be seen on Broadway in the one-man stage version of A Bronx Tale. Please welcome our friend Chaz Palminteri. <laughs> Good. You know what? This is something that you've been on the show uh, many times. You're always a great guest. And I've noticed that you always come out and you smile, you're smiling. You've got a terrific smile. Yes. I'm a very pleasant guy. But the minute you stop smiling, you're one of the most intimidating people I've ever talked to. You, are, you look like you have a stare that can just, you know, melt solid uh, gold. Is that it, true? It's, it's a habit. I mean, because a lot of people see the roles I do and they think I'm that guy and right. I'm, I'm really a sweet guy. You, yeah. know? I, I, you know, I'm a nice guy, but when I walk around, when I walk through the street, people run over, they go, hey, Chaz. And then they're like, hey, Mr. Palminteri, how are you? Right, and right. And people get scared, you know? I mean, it's, but it's crazy. But you must be able to use that. I mean, I can't intimidate people if I want to. If right. I get really angry, uh, <laughs> people are just like, ah, you're such a fool, you know? <laughs> you... You are able, I would think, to use that intensity in your life for, for you know, for good, Well, right? sometimes uh, you have to, like, uh, I was doing a movie once and the guy couldn't, I was doing this scene and he had to cry. The other actor that was with me had to cry. He really had to be upset about this thing and he did it. We did take one, take two, take three, and he still wasn't getting it. And the director says, he whispered to me, he says, I don't know what to do. I said, look, he's a wonderful actor, but he just, you, we just got to bring it out of him. I said, you know what, let's do it again, but keep the camera rolling. So the kid walks over to me and he's supposed to cry and tell me he's sorry that he was selling these drugs and right, right. all of a sudden he goes, I'm dad, he was, he, he was playing my, uh, uh, his, my son, my right. son. He goes, dad, I'm really sorry. And I just said, what, what? And I grabbed him and I just hit him with a smack right across the face. Yeah. Whack! Yeah. And he just looked at me and he started, I said, what, what? Now let's talk, let's talk. And he started saying it again and they kept the camera rolling and the kid was fantastic. And he, he started crying, right? He so, cried, all that he so cried. So your acting method, your acting method is to beat the person until they cry. <laughs> Well, you know what a great I, method. I thought you hit him a couple of times. No, I made sure when I, I, I hit him with an open hand so he really could let right. go, and he really just cried. And uh, <laughs> it was, it was an, an open hand. It All was right, an well. open hand. I didn't, okay, open hand. You know, and I made sure I didn't have a ring on. You know, so when I smacked him, and you're a caring actor. Yeah, I was very. <laughs> In fact, in fact, when the kid did another movie, he called me up. He says, listen, could you come on the set and give me another S shot? Smack me around a little <laughs> smack bit. Smack me around a little bit. Now, yeah. I have to ask you this. A Bronx Tale, I can't believe you wrote this 20 years ago. It was 20 years ago, About yes. growing up, uh, and I'm just curious, you know, you're from the area. Right. You're doing it now. Do old friends, do old pals from the, the old neighborhood come by to oh, see it? Oh, a lot of guys, a lot of people come down and see the show, but it's really funny because I get the names of the people that want to come back and see me, and they come back, they go, there's a Mr. Henderson, there's a John Smith, and there's a... There's a Johnny Roast Beef wants to see you. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a, a, a Cha Cha. And I go, and the people go, Cha Cha, who's Cha? Is that his first name? Cha, his last name? Right. It's like I got all these names. Cutthroat Andy came to see me. Cutthroat, I mean, all these, so these people. Cutthroat, was, his name's Cutthroat Andy. Is, he, is, is it one of those things where the name is the opposite? Like they call the fat opposite. guy skinny? Yeah, Cutthroat, exactly. is he like a nice, He's sweet guy? He's the nicest guy. And they call okay. him Cutthroat Andy. So but, so, but the people in the theater, they're not used to those people coming to see me, so they get a little nervous. So, you right. know, it's a little scary, you know, but I tell them, don't worry, they're nice guys. Okay, no, I, I don't want to know too much in this next question. I don't want to get myself in trouble, but you, you must have grown up knowing some guys that were mobbed up. Yeah, yeah, and, sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I'm just curious. Do you ever hear from those guys? Oh, Do they come? No, to Conan. I had a guy that came to see me. Came to see me. They, they came over and they say, "There's a guy named Joey B." And I'm going, Joey B. I go, Joey B. I go, no, that can't be. This guy had a contract out on him 25 years ago. They were after this guy. This who is was that? Who was after him? They were, you know, some people. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only guy here who didn't get it. You know, the audience is like, I, I'm on national with television here. He wants to get me whacked. This guy. Yeah, what no. are you kidding? <laughs> good no. for ratings. Yeah, so it is good. <laughs> I, I can go under. Here. I can go under here. You see, I'm here. This, this thing is. This thing is solid no, but steel. It's funny he said that because when the guy came in, right, and he and, and I all of a sudden he walked in my dress room and I looked at him and I went, oh my god. It's, it is him. I couldn't believe it. It's actually the guy. I haven't seen him in 30 years. Now, as he's talking to me, this was the conversation. How you been? Good. Where you living? Hmm? Uh, <laughs> mm. Are you married now? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you working? Hmm? Right, right. I said, oh, right, never mind. I said, uh, so let me, as he's talking to me, I'm saying to myself, wow, if they followed him here, if he gets whacked outside the theater in front of the marquee, what publicity? <laughs> 
See? And this, this is, is a just... friend of mine. Yeah, yeah. Well, friend, well, schmend, friend. you know. I haven't seen him in 30 years. Yeah. But I'm saying, if I get all, I get out of the show at 10.45, no, 9.45, we can make the 11 o'clock news. Right, right, right. This is the way you have to think. This is the way you have I'm to think. I'm thinking about that right now. Uh, uh, exactly, exactly. Now, in this show, you play 18 characters. Right. And, and uh, you know, and you're a terrific actor, so I, I know that you can do it. There's one thing that I'm curious about. One of the roles that you play is you right. play a nine-year-old boy. I played me when I was nine, yes. How do you play you? D d tell me you don't put on short shorts and a propeller beanie and <laughs> You know, no, I mean. No. I just sit there and I go like that. And I just stand there and I talk about, you know, growing up when I was growing up on this. So the key to becoming a yeah. nine-year-old is just. Yeah, you got to think like that and, you know. <laughs> you know what, what, not well, not exactly that face, but other well, than This that, is the no, face no, I no. made all through childhood. Yeah, it's you know. like, you know, I was always like, I wonder if I'll ever get a talk show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a talk show. Yeah. Okay. 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 Other kids would come by. <laughs> No, Don't see, pay. Uh -huh. you got, I got to teach you. I got to. I got to teach you how to be. I mean, you're, you're like. You're like. You know. When, the thing you do is the greatest. But I got to teach you to be a tough guy a little bit. You never know. You might be able to use it. And you're. And you know. You might, I got to teach you how to be a tough guy. Am I right or wrong? You don't have that. I don't know. Yeah. There you're, might be some skepticism that I would have that in me, but you think you could help me? I you're a terrific do, actor. I can stand up for one second. Right, yeah, right, you can do, do it. Yeah, okay, just, what, what yeah, do I right? do? The first thing you got to do is, if, see, when you're a tough... No, no, right? What, 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 what am I doing no, wrong? Just, you're moving too much. That's me. That's what I do. I'm no, always on the move. It's just like this. It's like this. You just... My nickname would be, be, would be like Tony this. Standstill, because I'm the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> no, just give one of these. Go like this. That's not bad. What do you say? That's not bad. Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Right. You just sort of do it casually. I would do it, and then I'd become obsessive about it. No, 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 no. And That's then I'd it. rub creams and ointments in. That's good. That's and then good. I'm not a tough guy anymore. I'm a guy who's got who's moisturizing yeah, it's, on. It's, it's, it's a very thing. Then you, you got to bite your lips. I'll give you a smack. Come on, like that. What's so, that? What's that? You do that I'll with give your lips. You a smack. That? It's a butt. <laughs> I got it. Look at this. I'm gonna put them all together. <laughs> <laughs> That's my tough guy right there. A rabbit said, who's moisturizing. No. <laughs> uh, now, I want to make sure I mention this, because uh, this is important. And by the way, I failed that test. Uh, no, no, that wasn't bad. Um, and what about talking like a tough guy? Is right. that, that I mean, you showed me the physical mannerisms. Right. What, what kind of things do you say when you're a tough guy? Well, real tough guys, they don't yell. You know, they just, they talk very quietly. It's like, hey, go, you know, go do what you got to do. Go ahead. You know, it's like a real, hey, go do what you, they kind of suffocate the words. Hey, go do, do what you got to do. <laughs> go do what you got to do. That's not bad. Go. Now, go. we could have probably a whole conversation just using variations on that sentence. On that one sentence. What right. you going to do? I don't know. Go do what you got to go do and go do it. All right. I'll do it if you go do it yourself. Go I got to do what I got to do. Go do what no, you do. I ain't doing what I got to do. You got to do what you got to do. You can do it together and then we'll really get it done. We'll get it done. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Bronx Tale. Uh, and by the way, uh, go see this show. A Bronx Tale is playing at the Walter Kerr Theater yeah. here in New York City through February 24th, yeah. and you do not want to miss this it's show. It's a limited run, and you can go to on the web, uh, bronxtale.com, and it's only run until uh, February 24th. Yeah, so get in there and see it. Yeah. Chaz Palminteri, yeah. you're the best. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Always great. We'll be right back with Aaron Burnett. She'll tell us what's going on in the stock market. Stick around.